Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you have a customer request for pricing for a prospective job, you can create a quote. In the quote, you can enter pricing information about your goods and services for the customer's request. Since they haven't agreed to purchase anything yet, they are only provided with a quote. Amounts within quotes do not affect the amounts within the general ledger. They are also very useful as quotes that the customer accepts can easily be converted into either sales orders or sales invoices later on. You can enter a quote for a customer within the quotes window by selecting tasks from the menu bar, rolling over the quotes and sales orders command, and then choosing quotes from the side menu that appears. Now sales orders are forms that are used when a customer agrees to buy goods or services that are not shipped immediately. The sales orders window allows for partial orders to be shipped and back orders to be tracked. Using this window, items can be shipped from inventory as they become available. To open the sales orders window, select tasks from the menu bar, roll over the quotes and sales orders command, and then choose sales orders from the side menu that appears. The sales and invoicing form, however, is used to enter invoices and or ship items that are entered into sales orders. Unlike sales orders, the amounts that are entered into the sales invoicing window actually do affect the accounts receivable account within the general ledger. To view customer invoices, select tasks from the menu bar and then choose the sales invoicing command. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.